guys, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is for Scrap Madness Video a Day and it's going to be close to my heart. And I do have a tutorial on my Cricut Space but you can skip to 2 minutes and 39 seconds. I am going to use this free cut file that is free in the Confessions of the Paper Addict Cut File Shop until the 15th of March. And here I am, I'm bringing up the cut file so make sure that you download it to wherever you save your cut files from. And I am clicking off all of the spots that I want to have my Cricut cut out. And I do have it cut out everything. And then you'll see how I use use it um, for the process video after I get done with this tutorial. Now I do hit, after I get every little piece clicked, I do click and realize that I needed to click another spot. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So once you click on all of the little pieces that you want your Cricut to cut out... Then you go and hit next and then you go from there. So I always click the preview button and see, I didn't want that thick of a border. So I made sure that I went back in and I cut that out. So then you see the difference on my border. And then I hit next and then I make sure that I cut, click on the cut. And then I click on the cut file I want to use. So there is a spot that says template and if you click down to photo memories, and it brings up this imaginary little line of a 12 by 12 and I right click on the image and unlock it and I drop this down to 11.25 on both sides to make it an even square and then I lock it back up because I do sometimes tend to grab the wrong one and make it bigger than what I need it to be. So here I am I'm just placing it in that imaginary 12 by 12 line. And then I'm going to bring up shapes. Now I did do squares and my photos are going to be two and a half by three. So I made two of them and I wanted to play around with it to make sure that it looked right for what I wanted on this paper. And so I kind of wanted it to look like this. I'm like, okay, that's perfect. So then I look at it and then I delete them. And I just delete my photos because I only wanted to do was cut this cut file. And then I just place it onto the paper. Now I am going to use one of my own papers from Close to My Heart. Once we get closer, you'll see. So then I'm just sending it to the cup file and you'll see it pop up here shortly. Now my um, Wi-Fi or my thing was taken a little bit. So now I am on to my transition of this. So, okay, sorry about that. What happened was I had my video a little bit my process video switched around so I'm sorry about the cutoff there okay so now I took out my close to my heart sapphire which is available and I'll link everything down below including the free cut file shop or the free cut file that I got from Virginia Walker you have to be part of the group to get it and so I'll link that down and then her Etsy shop because there's tons going on over there now I am part of um, a hop that is called twisted sisters for close to my heart you will see tons of inspiration using the new close to my heart collections that are available starting the month of March here and it goes through now I edged everything with my shaker pocket and I placed it down so that I don't have to work with that and I can dump all of my sequence mix now this is a brand new sequence mix that was part of the new shop and I will place that number down below as well and I came in with some stash now I cleared out three different sequence mixes for this you know for this bad boy it's a huge shaker pocket I did cover it with acetate off camera along with using some adhesive the adhesive that I use from Walmart to back this cup file and I'm just making it flat so that none of it sticks but yet far enough away with this um, pencil that I, or this pen that I'm using with the feather part just to keep it away from the edge. And look how gorgeous that looks just without it. So you can tell that I back this up and I use ink on my foam to give me that outline. That's how I knew exactly where to place all of my sequence mix was because I edged this. So those are two hacks that I have for you is put the foam tape down, grab any type of ink, ink your foam, and then place it down on here before you glue it down. Put your sequence on and then place this down and it works out wonderful. Nothing happens, you let it glue, it sticks down, it, it's perfect, just absolutely perfect. 
And I absolutely positively love how this turns out. Now, as I'm letting that dry to make sure, because I don't want to move any of the sequence mix, because I really want to make sure that the Tombow that I am using for adhesive sticks to the paper and not the sequence mix. So I'm just taking the Project Life cards that they have for this kit, and the kit that I am using is two things. I have the Seize the Day kit paper and sticker pack along with the Project Life cards. And like I said, everything will be linked down below along with my website page so that you can be able to go check out this. If you're interested in it, I would be greatly appreciated if you would go check out my website and see what you think about Close to My Heart. Now this hop is all about the Close to My Heart products that we have gotten in for the month of March and April, which is the new catalog that runs for these two months. Now make sure that you link and check down below to everybody to hop along to that. And if you start here, make sure you go through everybody else. You may find somebody that you have not been a subscriber to that you absolutely love. Now by all means, yes, Today is all about Close to My Heart. However, my channel has a ton of different things. And I am in the month of March, so we started Scrap Madness today. There is two videos ready to roll for today. And the Scrappy Sisters and Laura, along with myself, is going to have a video a day. Now, we are doing it a little bit differently. And... We've got some people on odds, which is myself and one of the Scrappy Sisters. And then Laura and one of the other Scrappy Sisters is on the is on the even days. And so you have to make sure all of those links are down below, along with the hop, along with the products that I'm using. Okay, so the photos. The photos is the food that I had gotten while we were in Greece. Now, the street vendor food was by far the best food that I've ever tasted in my life for um, in Greece while we were in Athens. And I thought that because Athens is known for the Mediterranean foods that they have and their, you know, just food in general. I had the pictures upside down, so I had to take that off. Go me, right? <coughs> and I really, really, really loved when we were in Greece. Those four days that we were in Greece was just perfect. And this was just the euro that you could get. And oh my god. It was like the best two dollar or two euro that I spent in my life for this euro. Or this um it was it was just awesome. And I had the green one that's on there, and one of my friends had the other one that was on there. Look how wonderful that shaker pocket looks. Oh, so there are the items, the seize the day items, and you'll see what I do for my title. And I do seize the day. I thought it was fitting for this because it was trying out new foods even though I've tried a ton of it. I eat it all the time. So it's not really new for me. But for some of the ladies that I went with um, through Greece, it was new for them to try. But oh my god, it was the best. This was like the best nook place that you could find going down the street. We were heading, when we found this place, we wanted something small to eat because we knew we were going to go out um, to another place for my re for my birthday, like a bigger restaurant to have a bigger meal. So we wanted to find something just to tide us over. And this was on our way to um, Olympia, where we were going to see where the first Olympics were in Athens. And we um, found this place. It was like you went in and you you couldn't stand in there. We were waiting for our food and we had to wait outside. And we wanted to get, um, they had Coke products. And I don't mind the European Coke products. It's actually better than the United States Coke products. And you literally were going into the kitchen to get your drink. Because that's how small this place was. But it was by far the best food I've ever tasted in my life. So yeah, that was a little bit about the photos. And here I am. Now I'm just going to place a little bit of hearts. I thought about putting this and then that doesn't work. So I, I'm going to leave that for something. I have something planned for that for another layout. And now I'm just going to place these hearts. These little hearts are on the sticker pack. Let me tell you, I love the fact that I can get a little bit of the sheets and this pad and have it all. And it's only for $9.99 or $9.95. You can't beat that. It's perfect 
for um, everything about it. This just the layout is just perfect all the way around. I took um, beach type like items and turned it into a food layout. How cool is that? I did buy a bunch of the enamel dots for this because I do like the mints and the reds and the blues. So I'm pretty sure I'll probably be buying another set of these because I went through quite a bit just here. I do move it out and I move that and I do have C's the, the, the is in the middle. You may not, you may not see it on camera, but off camera you can see it. And then in the still shots you can see it because I do have a close up for it. But in real life you do see it. So here I am, I'm just placing the enamel dots everywhere just to give it a little bit of something extra. I do leave this a little bit simple because I wanted the cup file and the shaker pocket to be the big thing. So now I am taking my saffron and splattering and then that is it so make sure you go check everybody out if you like what you see hit that subscribe button because i do upload about two to three times a week and the still shots are coming up i hope you have a wonderful day and i will talk to you soon bye